What is up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this one we're gonna take a look at how my ceramic coating is performing now over 14 months later. As we can see the car is pretty filthy and I've purposely not cleaned it for a while so it will be a great test for this video. Usually I like to apply the pre-treatment to the dry surface, but in this case there was so much pollen and dust on the car so I decided to give it a pre-rinse first. And then I applied the traffic film remover which is dissolvable in water. As well as a wheel cleaner to the wheels. And then I encapsulate the pre-cleaners with a blanket of snow foam. This is my go-to method of uh, pre-treating the vehicle and uh, I think it works really good. Now when I applied this coating over 14 months ago, I actually did some experimenting and only applied one layer to the roof. So it'll be interesting to see if there is any difference in durability comparing one layer to two layers, which I applied to the rest of the car. It's always a good idea to, from time to time, apply some sort of quick coating to an already ceramic coated car to just boost and protect the existing layer of coating there. Now, it was a long time ago I did that with this car, but if there's any remnants of some quick coating left, it'll easily be stripped off by the natural shampoo that I'm using. Car Pro's Reset is definitely one of my favorite car shampoos to use. It's uh, highly concentrated, foams well, and have a great cleaning ability. And as we can see right here, the hood didn't get affected at all by the contact wash. It still pretty much performs like day one, which is really nice to see. So let's go ahead and clean the rest of the car and see how the water behaves on the other panels. You could see a difference along the sides of the car behind the wheel arches and that is simply because it takes a lot more beating right there because the wheels kick up a lot of uh, gunk and dirt from the roads. That is to be expected. But it's still there and it's doing something so it's still holding up pretty well. But the biggest difference was between one and two layers, which we can see right here on the roof. So I actually decided to repolish the roof and at this time apply two layers. Then maybe every two or three washes I like to use some sort of quick protection, in this case a wet coat, just to boost the existing layer of protection and also it works as a sacrificial layer for the existing ceramic coating. Then I'd like to take the opportunity to update you guys on how the trim coating is holding up, which I applied before the winter. And it's uh, actually holding up pretty well, which is impressive for only a trim coating. So the video has come to an end and to uh, quickly summarize I noticed the biggest difference between one and two layers of coating so if you're gonna do this yourself I highly recommend to apply two layers. 
I have noticed a big difference in the past with other coatings between one and two layers so uh, that's uh, probably one of my biggest recommendations if you're taking the time to do all of the prep work you might as well go with two layers because the difference is actually pretty substantial. And that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed this quick little update video until next time have a great one see you then bye.